We were studying using volcanoes to cool and battle global warming. There's a process whereby a supervolcano creates a vapor mirror in the stratosphere, a, re a vapor reflectivity. It's called a volcanic mirror. Supervolcanoes are bigger than other volcanoes, and they erupt with more strength. Thus, they get so much ash to the stratosphere, where the sulfurics in the ash surround the Earth, mix with the atmosphere, and create this reflective vapor. That's why it's called a volcanic mirror. Only supervolcanoes, very rarely smaller volcanoes, get some ash up there. But supervolcanoes do it every time. Thus, it's associated with supervolcanoes. We were studying using geoengineering to try to counter-effect global warming. Pinatubo dropped the temperatures 0.5 degrees about 20 years ago, giving us an extra 20 years of cooling. It, it, was, it didn't destroy Earth or stop cell phones or anything else. In any case, if done in the smaller amounts, we believe that it could be used because it's quick to cool Earth. It won't, however, solve the CO2. While we were studying this, we made a game to teach the children. I didn't know how long we'd have, and if something had happened to me, I wanted them to be able to um, know how to protect themselves in the future if they needed to. I created a game of geoengineering using cones at first. We played the game every day so the children could learn. And um, after a few weeks, one night when I was looking through the internet, I ran across volcanoes. And I knew right away what it was. It reminded me exactly of our game. So I studied it. On studying the pyramids, you have volcanic st a, a race of people who used video or visual um, communication, actually, visual communication to speak. Visual communication is a science well known. We actually use it by using letters and writing is a form of this visual communication. So there's no lack of it in our world. In any case, while studying this, we, found, we looked at the pyramids, which obviously are volcanic in, in looks. And the Great Pyramid is obviously the biggest one, muting the others beside of it. So it creates the, the illusion of the largest volcanoes, volcanic structures. Previously, it used to be coated in case stones that were so reflective that they called them the mirror of heaven. If you miss the obvious volcanology in that thought, once you put it, or once you put mirrors back on a large volcano looking structure, you would have a giant solar reflective ray. So you might think weapon immediately, because why else would you do that? Create something like that. If you add in, however, the volcanology associated with the pyramids, visual, you then have super volcanic solar reflectivity. The mirror of heaven is volcanic mirror in visual science communication. They feared that the world would end by solar. They knew how to stop it, and they created, just like a science project that a child would do today, how would you do it? I would create littler volcanoes to create a super volcanic effect on the big one, and then I would add reflectivity. Because in any language of any country, had the case stone still be, been left on there, it would be an easy science visual communication to read. Super volcanic solar reflectivity is only one thing in science, and that is the volcanic mirror. And it is the only thing that would battle a solar flare. And one of the things that could help cool the Earth from global warming. I do not believe Giza was a Death Star. I believe the entire visual has to do with the volcanic mirror and how to save a planet and all of its people. <laughs>